So up everyone, welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Today we're going to focus in on um, all the rumors going around Boston, the rumors, that uh, Claude Julien's uh, demise is, will soon be complete and the Bruins will have a new coach as everyone wants to push Claude out the door. Now, I'm not going to say I'm the president of the Claude Julien fan club, but as I like to say with coaches, you can't make chicken salad out of chicken shit and Donnie Boy kind of put him in a tough spot. You know, with this roster not being bad enough to be in the lottery, but also not being good enough to really contend. Um, you know, that's the reality of the situation. And, you know, the Bruins looked pretty good this time last week. And then, you know, flat effort against the Islanders on a matinee game. They just weren't ready for one, which is pathetic. And then that Detroit game Wednesday night was like, come on, really? So it's one of those situations where, yes, they're in a playoff spot, but every other team around them has games at hand. And, you know, if they get in, what kind of, you know, can they really do anything? Um, you know, I wouldn't fire Claude because there's no, like, kind of capable replacement there for him. And, again, I, it goes without saying, he's the best coach in franchise history. It, you know, you can disagree with me all you want, but, you know, he got it done in 2011. You know, he's won so many games, and he's been such a, you know, his arrival in 2007 you know, really signaled the culture change for this franchise and helped get it back on track to where it, you know, wanted to be and where it should be. So, I'm always going to take the side of of Claude in this circumstance. Um, but I'm looking at it right now, like, now what? And is it going to be a trade? Is it going to be a shakeup? You know, if they traded Carlo or McAvoy for... Gabriel Landeskog, that's not the move right now. If they could somehow, some way, get Landeskog without giving up one of those two, or Pasternak, obviously, then I'd say do it, because that's a move that not only helps you now, but he's signed, he's a young player, I think he fits, you know, what they're trying to build. Um, but, you know, we'll see what happens again. Big one tonight against the Blackhawks, so my advice, if I'm... If Donnie Boy Sweeney's watching us, keep Claude right now. Kind of roll with the punches and then reassess at the end of the season. You know, it's um one of those situations where the lack of clear, I guess, a clear direction from the front office is what's really holding this team back. But I've been saying that for a long time. But anyway... That's all I got in this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.